Chapter 41 The Second Avenger to Play Minecraft You are listening at NovelFull.audio Bruce Banner was still shocked after seeing the live stream on his cell phone. Currently he was hiding in a small town in Brazil, as he knew the US government was after him, one of the best places he thought to hide was Brazil, a place with relatively low public safety and not so much government. Concerned about what citizens do, meaning a perfect place for an international criminal. There were even rumors that Michael Jackson and Hitler were hiding in Brazil as they knew they would hardly be found here, but Bruce knew that these rumors were just rumors of idle people. Here he worked in a factory that paid minimum wage, as well as accommodation and meals. With the money he received, Bruce didn't have to worry too much about expenses, as he could just buy the essentials and drink with the friends he made in that country. But yesterday he heard something interesting from one of the men who worked at the factory. My son started playing a game called Minecraft, have you heard about that? Even my wife plays when my son isn't using the computer. Jorge said after taking a sip of the beer. Minecraft. Never heard of it. Lucas responded with a disinterested expression. If I were you I'd do some research, after my son started playing Minecraft, he stopped still with the bums who live near my house, and he's even messing around less at school. As long as I say if he does something like that wrong he will go three days without playing Minecraft, he has become even more obedient. Jorge said with a smile as he continued to drink his beer. After hearing this, Lucas became interested and asked Jorge to explain more about this game. It's a simple game, any computer can handle it, even if it's an old computer. After you pay 40 Brazilian reals, the game is installed on the computer and anyone can play there, it's like magic, you can enter the world with your mind and even eat and drink there. Jorge said with a big smile as he remembered the foods he tasted at Hypixel after his son explained how it worked. Lucas was shocked at first, but after thinking that this game must have been made by some genius in the USA, he calmed down and thought that this was something normal, after all, they say that in the US there is even a man who wears an armor of robot that flies around the city shooting lasers, making a game like that shouldn't be that hard, right? Dot, but while Lucas thought this was normal, Bruce who was also drinking with these two men was shocked. He was still following some news from the US and knew that this type of technology was still a long way off from their current times. After he got back to the factory, the first thing Bruce did was log on to the employee dorm Wi-Fi and look up this Minecraft guy. As much as he worked in a factory, Bruce was a genius scientist who had an advanced knowledge of nuclear physics, so like any good scientist, Banner was curious to see what this new discovery could bring of innovation to the world. To the point of even wondering if this technology could somehow help him with the problem he had after being affected by a gamma-ray bomb. But what Bruce didn't expect was to see that the live stream looked like something out of a Disney movie. No, even better than Disney movies, it's almost impossible to distinguish between this game and reality other than the shape of people being square and everything around it matches that. But as boring as the square design can be, Bruce felt drawn to this story that was happening and continued to watch the live stream for hours on end. Finally, he saw Notch asking the players for help and asking if there were others who could help. Bruce was already tired of just working during the day and drinking at some bar at night, so he thought. Why not? In the dorm there were some old computers for the staff to use, so using some of his savings, Bruce bought this game which cost 40 Brazilian reals, or in his old country's money, $20, and prepared to go to sleep while the game downloaded to slow internet from the factory. But to Bruce's surprise, the game download was completed in just a few seconds. Initially he thought he had been tricked into buying a pirated version of the game, but after seeing that this really was the game's official Steam page, Bruce got a little worried and hit, play, to connect to World of Minecraft. But unbeknownst to Bruce, he wasn't the only one who connected to Minecraft, his mind connected to the game, causing Bruce's conscience to go to Minecraft, but inside his mind there was also another conscience. Hulk was asleep until he felt his consciousness was attracted to a bright place leaving him very scared and angry. But when he saw that his size had decreased and his strength was much smaller than it normally was, Hulk got even angrier and started punching everything in his path. 
To Hulk's surprise, in this place he could punch anything he wanted. From earth, trees, stone, animals, even ugly people called villagers. Hulk never felt so happy in his life, he was always forced to hold back and when he smashed something everyone yelled at him and kept shooting at him, but in this place Hulk could smash anything he wanted and no one would criticize him. With a big smile on his face, the Hulk yelled. Happy Hulk, Hulk crush everything. And so, unbeknownst to anyone, the person with the highest record for broken blocks had started playing Minecraft, and that person was none other than the Hulk. Chapter 48 is already released on Patreon. Patreon.com slash NunuXD Chapter 42 Cruel and Bloodthirsty Villain You are listening at NovelFull.audio Bruce Banner played Minecraft for a few hours and felt the game was a lot of fun. But what shocked him most was how did this game company manage to make the player aware of this game. As much as he wondered about it, Bruce couldn't find any satisfactory answer to that question. None of the possibilities he could think of made sense. He was even more surprised when he saw news of players getting capes or potions from the game in real life and that it actually applied real effects to people outside of the game. But what really took him to realize was that the anger he needed to control all the time was now gone after he played Minecraft. Since Bruce was hit with the gamma rays, he was constantly angry, and always needed to minimize the effects of that anger as much as possible in order not to turn into the Hulk. But after playing Minecraft, that anger he had been having trouble controlling for so many years had completely disappeared. This dot the Hulk disappeared after I played Minecraft. Bruce wondered in disbelief. But what he didn't know is that while he was in the real world, Hulk hadn't stopped playing Minecraft yet. Dot Hulk at this point was getting a bit angry in Minecraft, but because he had so much fun in that world, he could still think straight as he looked at the rock he had been hitting for 10 minutes. Bedrock, Hulk can't crush this rock. But Hulk wants to crush this rock. Hulk told himself as he looked at Bedrock feeling confused for the first time in his life. Alex didn't realize that even Hulk was having fun in Minecraft, much less that Asgard was considering Minecraft as something dangerous. But even if he did, he wouldn't worry too much, as he knew how many powerful beings there were in Marvel, and he knew that since he hadn't been attacked so far, this place he was in was probably safe. Of course, he knew he needed to improve his own strength, but he was in no rush to spend his gaming points on powers now, as it was better to invest in more games and earn even more points per day. Minecraft sales after the Hero Brian attack soared like a rocket. As he heard players commenting that the battle was announced on television and even with Minecraft's shadow ban on the internet many people learned of the game, the number that once took several days to reach 200,000 sales was now reaching 1 million sales. It had only been 20 hours since the Hero Brian attack, but Minecraft had sold nearly 800,000 copies in such a short time. Even though the world was trying to hide this mysterious game, internet people still managed to spread the word about it and let more people find out. Alex was predicting that by the end of the event, Minecraft would have sold at least 10 million copies, or maybe even more. With 5 million copies Alex would already have enough gaming points to make a triple-A RPG. Initially he intended to make an advanced RPG, but with the speed that Minecraft was selling, Alex decided to change his goal to make a triple-A RPG. He currently has 140,000 gaming points, which is almost 5 times what he had yesterday. He he he, if players are having so much fun with Minecraft, there's no way I can't be excited about how they'll react to the next game. Alex said laughing as he ate another Shokujki no Soma sandwich. Have you discovered anything important? Nick Fury asked in an annoyed voice as he glared at his agents. Clinton replied in a serious voice. The physics of that game is different from the physics of our world, I tried shooting some arrows there and I feel like it's much easier there than when I do it with my own bow. Maria Hill also shared what she found. The engineering team at SHIELD started researching industrial craft and they started testing whether it's really viable in our world or not, but according to the engineers, it really does have a chance to work. The problem is that our current technology is too limited to do those things in a short time. Maybe Tony Stark can help with that. 
Fury nodded and decided to contact Tony Stark again, he thought he would only need Tony for the Avengers initiative, but he found that he would need Tony's genius mind to try to understand Minecraft before he even accepted to join the Avengers. What about Thomcraft, has anyone discovered anything? Fury asked. In this the agents faced each other looking for some answer, but everyone could only shake their heads in denial. They didn't have any solid knowledge of magic, so testing it was unfeasible. That's understandable. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Did you guys find out anything about Notch or Hero Brian? Fury asked in a heavy voice. My team couldn't find anything on either of them other than public information that Notch is apparently one of the oldest Minecraft players, which infers that he is possibly the creator of that world, while Herobrine just appeared on a live stream scaring two players, but neither of them had done anything substantial before that. An agent said in a tired voice. This agent had spent the last 20 hours looking for any kind of information about Notch or Herobrine, but it was as if these two people had never existed before. He even searched for similar names of children who were born several years ago, mostly siblings, but nothing was found. Until Natasha got up and reported what she thought. Notch is apparently not a bad person, I'm pretty sure he really is the creator of Minecraft, but no proof that he was the only one, or maybe Minecraft was another world they ruled over, but if I can give my opinion, while Notch is an apparently good guy, Herobrine is the opposite where I would classify as a cruel and bloodthirsty villain. A cruel and bloodthirsty villain. Nick Fury repeated with a tired expression. He knew they couldn't handle it, especially if one of these two such powerful beings came to Earth, so the only thought on his mind was to speed up the Avengers initiative and let superhumans handle it. Fortunately the captain is already recovering. Fury thought as he remembered the captain he planned for this team. Chapter 43 Mutant Creeper You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Alex was unaware that S.H.I.E.L.D. was discussing Notch and Herobrine, and even an investigation into siblings born with those names around the world was being carried out, but even if he knew, Alex wouldn't care. Not even the Supreme Sorcerer could find out anything about him, let alone S.H.I.E.L.D. that still relies on technological means to find him. After coughing up blood, Nock flew away from the players and became invisible again. He was very surprised at how well these players were organizing. Teams were set, warehouses, supplies, distribution lines, everything was running so well that Alex couldn't imagine a better way to make it happen. Alex saw the players in some places celebrating the victory, while in other places the players were arguing about Nock and Herobrine but he didn't want those players to be left with their guard down even after the battle was over. Alex's idea was to make players think that monsters could appear at any time. He he he, they say nothing is so good that it can't get worse, but the creeper always manages to spoil those plans. Alex said to himself as he picked up a creeper egg, but unlike regular creeper eggs that were green and black, this egg in Alex's hand was green and red. Several rookie players were heading to the warehouse to get a wooden or stone sword wanting to join the battle. Some players had even just bought Minecraft and have already come to battle after watching live streams on the internet and not even playing single player. Among these rookie players was Bruce Banner. This was his first time getting into Minecraft multiplayer, so he just acted like the other players and was guided to the warehouse to get a weapon and join the battle. Players who have never played Minecraft, Please stay on this side, while experienced players stay on the other side. We need to differentiate you to increase efficiency. A player named, Milaj04, yelled at the players. Upon hearing this, 90% of players went to the novice player side, while only 10% went to the experienced player side. This surprised, Milaj04, as each time she asked this question to players coming to the depot, the number of newbies compared to veterans increased. Minecraft is getting more and more popular. She thought in shock. But before she could say anything, a rookie player pointed away and asked confused. Hey, what's that green monster with four legs? Hearing this the veteran players just ignored it thinking it was a random creeper while paying attention to, Milaj04, who was handing out weapons to them first. 
But as time went on, the number of rookie players screaming about this creeper started to increase, until one veteran player finally looked confused. When he saw the monster, he realized that it really was a creeper, but looking at the size of this creeper and how long its legs were, the player was shocked as he pointed at the creeper without being able to say a word. Upon seeing this shocked player pointing somewhere, other veteran players unconsciously followed the direction this player was pointing and were just as shocked as he was. Shit, what the fuck? One player cursed. Is that a fucking creeper? Another player was shocked. When Milaj04 saw the creeper these players were talking about, she was just as shocked as they were. Shit, shit, I need backup. She said shocked. But since she was a soldier in Wakanda, Milaj04 reacted quickly and shouted at the players. Quickly. Enter the warehouse and get swords by yourself, remember, get only one sword. We need to kill this mutant creeper and protect the warehouse. Hearing Milaj 04's scream, players were shocked and excited. Soon the warehouse was filled with players opening chests while taking swords and leather armor to fight this giant monster. Veteran players who had already picked up equipment had already run to the mutant creeper and were trying to use kiting strategy on this monster, but unlike normal creepers that just exploded, this giant creeper also attacked. This creeper's range was greater than that of players, so to attack the creeper at least one player had to be attacked first. Back off. A player screamed after hitting the creeper. Hearing this, the players retreated before coming back and attacking the creeper after a while. In between, low health players moved away from the creeper to eat and recover health, while full health players returned to the monster to try and hit it. Even with players taking precautions, newbie players who didn't understand strategies for dealing with monsters in Minecraft were still dying very fast, but the death of newbies was also creating a lot of opportunities for veteran players to do a lot of damage on the creeper. Unlike regular creepers, this mutant creeper had a lot of health, so players had to hit him hundreds of times for him to die. If all players were skilled, it would be easy to kill the creeper without anyone dying, but since 90% of the players in combat were rookies, the amount of players killed was very high. Milaj04 was at Milaj02's side watching the battle and protecting the warehouse from other monsters that might emerge. Seeing the amount of rookie players dying to kill the mutant creeper, the two women felt a pang in their hearts. When monsters die, they drop equipment for players to pick up, but when players die, the equipment disappears. Every rookie player who died in this battle was a set of equipment that they lost forever. If this battle lasts too long we will lose all our supply. Milaj02 said in a heavy voice. If we can kill this creeper it will be worth it. Milaj04 said confidently. But after a while, the two Milaj frowned and looked at each other in confusion. That's a creeper, but why doesn't it explode? Milaj04 asked Milaj02. But before Milaj02 could respond, they saw this creeper mutant's big legs twitch before the creeper mutant darts into the air. Seeing the creeper practically flying, the player's hearts froze. Shit. Chapter 44 Golden Apple You are listening at NovelFull.audio Shit, I thought we had already won the battle, where did this creeper come from? A player who was celebrating far away saw a creeper flying and got scared. Damn, there's a giant creeper flying around. Another player was shocked to see the creeper in the sky. Wait, that's the warehouse over there. Another player screamed in fear as he started to run. Players knew that this was the warehouse where they kept their spare weapons and armor for the players who were joining the battle, if the warehouse was destroyed, these new players could only use their bare hands to hit the monsters, and seeing how powerful the monsters were becoming, that would be a suicidal task. We need to protect the warehouse. Another player screamed in fright as he also ran towards the creeper. Those players who thought the battle was already won suddenly got scared and ran towards the mutated creeper. Alex who was flying over Hypixel had a smile on his face when he saw this. That's what he wanted, if players got used to peace they wouldn't be ready for war in Minecraft. 
Of course, Alex was exaggerating a bit, but his original intention was to play with the feelings of these players so that when these people left Minecraft, they would tell their friends how amazing this experience was and that would bring even more players. After the creeper jumped, as soon as he hit the ground everything around him exploded, including some chests that players were using to store items. But to help in the battle, the players who were protecting the wall also came back and started fighting the creeper. Alex didn't want players to have the satisfaction of killing a mutant monster on the first day, and wanted to save that experience for later days, so with a smile on his face he flew away. Suddenly, in the sky of Hypixel Notch appeared again. This time he looked even weaker than when he disappeared earlier. Probably his wound was getting worse, but he still came back and flew to the creeper. Get away from him. Notch said it in a calm way, but I could see how weak his voice was getting. Seeing a pale dot faced Notch flying towards them, the players soon began to persuade Notch. Don't come Notch, you need to rest. One player yelled worriedly. Yes, rest we can handle it. Another player said scared. Yes. Don't come. The players were worried about Notch, but Alex who was controlling Notch was frustrated. Even though he was going to help players get rid of this creeper, he also didn't want to give the satisfaction of killing the creeper so soon. But soon he had an idea to deal with it. We're running out of time. Notch yelled worriedly. Soon thunder fell from the sky and hit the mutant creeper. When struck by thunder, the mutant creeper was left with blue lightning bolts floating around him. Players who were close to the creeper were hit by small lightning bolts that leaked from the creeper and took some damage. Because of the equipment they were using, players could actually defeat the creeper, but it would take hours and a lot of destruction to the city. Upon understanding this, the players quickly walked away from the creeper and let Notch do what he wanted to do. Alex had to control himself not to smile at that moment, but still Notch maintained the pained expression he wore as he pointed a finger at the creeper. When Notch's finger pointed at the creeper, a purple portal just like the nether portal appeared at the monster's feet and sucked the creeper into the other dimension. Notch turned even paler and started panting, showing the players how tired he was. But still, Notch flew to a higher position above the city, a place where all players could see him, and finally spoke up. Citizen of Hypixel, unfortunately Herobrine got what he wanted. Since I was born I have tended an apple tree, but for hundreds of years the tree did not bear fruit. Then, after so many years, the tree finally started to sprout fruit. Ten years ago. These fruits were constantly growing and were born healthy yesterday. Notch finished saying and took an item out of his inventory. In Notch's hand, in front of millions of players, a golden apple appeared. This golden apple was so beautiful that it even glowed. This golden apple is one of the fruits of the tree I planted. Unfortunately the tree only bore three fruits, one of the fruits was taken by Herobrine, another is this golden apple in my hand. The third apple had no owner. Notch said with a heavy expression. In front of the millions of players and tens of millions of viewers at home watching the players' live streams, Notch ate the golden apple. Immediately Notch's body began to heal at a sharp speed. Notch's pale face returned to a healthy color while his hair, which was a little dry at this point, returned to a lot of shine. Players were shocked, to have such a result not even a single player healing potion could do. Soon Notch continued. As you can see, this golden apple can heal all of a person's injuries. But not only that, it can also improve a person's physique to twice its current value. Hero Brian is my little brother, but he was always stronger than me, now that he ate a golden apple and his body was twice as strong as before, even though I also ate a golden apple the distance between us two just increased. So I ask for your help. Help me protect Hypixel and the person who has the best stake will receive the last golden apple as a reward. Of course, you can also bring the golden apple into your world as well as potions and previous covers. When Notch finished saying the last sentence, silence descended between the players. They were shocked by this, this golden apple was miraculous. It could cure any disease. It could double someone's strength. 
If a sick person got the apple, the person would be instantly healthy. If a person in a wheelchair got the apple, the person could walk again. If a poor person got the apple, the person could sell the apple for millions of dollars. Soon the players woke up and started talking excitedly, everyone wanted that apple. Even though some knew they could never achieve it, it was still worth a try. And while players were excited about this, world governments also started holding emergency meetings to discuss this golden apple. And Alex just watched it with a big smile on his face. Chapter 51 is already released on Patreon. Patreon.com slash NunuXD Chapter 45 I wasn't lying you are listening at NovelFull.audio After the Golden Apple announcement, Alex finally disconnected from Minecraft to rest. As much as he hadn't done much physically during this battle, mentally Alex was very tired of having to control Notch and Herobrine, as well as setting up everything necessary for it to work. With a curious eye, Alex opened System to see how many Minecraft copies he had sold during today's event. Minecraft, 1,600,000 games sold, $32 million, average time played. 9 hours. Peak concurrent players. 912,110, total earned servers sold, $70,643, total earned VIPs, $3,190,975, basic RPG. 5,000 gaming points. Advanced RPG. 50,000 gaming points. Triple A RPG. 500,000 gaming points. Basic Adventure. 1,000 gaming points. Advanced Adventure. 10,000 gaming points. Triple A Adventure. 100,000 gaming points. Basic FPS. 500 gaming points. Advanced FPS. 5,000 gaming points. Triple A FPS. 50,000 gaming points. Basic Sandbox. 200 gaming points. Advanced Sandbox. 20,000 gaming points. Sandbox AAA. 2 million gaming points. Alex was shocked, the number of copies sold before the event hadn't even reached 300,000, now that number has jumped to 1,600,000. And to Alex's surprise, Every time he refreshed the status page, sales were still going up very quickly. 1,610,000, 1,620,000, 1,630,000, really, after this event, no matter how world governments try to hide Minecraft, it will be impossible, even more so with the golden apple, after knowing about it probably all the world is telling their friends and asking them to come play. If they're lucky, they can win this apple and become millionaires, if they're not, at least they can have fun with their friends and family. Alex said to himself very pleased with the idea he had for this event. He was already getting angry at s.h.i.l. D and the governments for enforcing a shadow ban on Minecraft, thus preventing the game from growing, but now that people are talking about Minecraft offline, the government will no longer be able to control it. Minecraft sales in this world will probably be even higher than in my old world, since here even adults and seniors will enjoy the game without thinking it's something childish. Alex said satisfied as he watched the numbers go up. With that $32 million I can convert into 160,000 gaming points, which would be enough to make an advanced RPG, but considering Minecraft's rapid growth, I'd better dedicate myself to making this event more fun. Probably until the end. Of the event I already have 500,000 gaming points to play the next game. Alex made up his mind before buying something to eat and rest his mind a little, after resting he intended to try harder to improve the event the next day. Around the world something no one imagined happened. A computer game has conquered people of all ages and all social classes. Good evening Fox News viewers, I believe that during the afternoon of this day, Many viewers around the country must have encountered a very unusual situation, no. A man wearing a smart suit said on television at an American family's home. See love. I said it's true, it wasn't just my boss who gave me the day off, 
but this happened to several people, I didn't get fired. A man said frustrated as he looked at his wife who was mad at him. He had come home earlier because his boss said he had to go home, buy Minecraft, and help defend Hypixel. Even the $20 expense to buy Minecraft the company would pay for the employees. According to the boss, this would be part of the work as a home office. The man was very happy to be given time off to play a computer game, even though he had never played a computer game before, but as his son always played it, he saw that it was something easy, much better than staying at work carrying boxes. But as soon as he got home, his wife started hitting him asking why he wasn't at work. Even if the man explained, his wife didn't believe that someone's boss would pay employees to go home and play computer games. Despite the woman complaining, the man ignored her and started playing the game, as he didn't understand the game very well, he was afraid his boss would find out that he didn't play and take a day's salary from him. Upon entering the game, the man was very scared, but after understanding how it worked, the man participated in the Hypixel War and felt as if he had participated in a great world war, while helping his countrymen to defend his country against the army. Enemy During the war the man felt his blood boil, but after the war ended and he disconnected from the game, the man saw his wife staring at him with a murderous expression. After 30 minutes of bickering, the two finally sat down on the couch to watch the news. For the happiness of the man, the presenter of the program has already started the program by talking about what happened today around the country and about the war he participated in. This afternoon, many companies closed early, while some even encouraged employees to go home and buy a game called Minecraft to participate in a war to defend the city from the players. The whole battle was full of emotions and twists, until the players discovered that the main battle was being fought in the skies of Hypixel. Two brothers were fighting over the city, one of the brothers, known as Notch was helping the players and also being helped by them, while the other brother, Herobrine, was controlling the monsters and wanting to defeat the players. In the end, it was discovered that this battle was being fought mainly to get a golden apple, a fruit with miraculous powers that can cure any disease and bend a person's strength. And this fruit apparently can be brought to the real world. Many hospitals are now buying old laptops for patients who want to play games and have trying to get a chance to receive the golden apple have the opportunity to play, while friends and company workers are forming groups around the world to organize and be able to affect the war in a positive way to get the apple. According to the game's official website, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Hero Brian will attack again, so in case anyone wants to buy something tomorrow, I recommend leaving early or leaving to buy later, since the chance of the market you want to go to is closed, s too loud. Hearing this, the man's wife was shocked and looked at him, not knowing what to say. See. I told you I wasn't lying. The man said as he scratched the injured arm his wife hit. Chapter 52 is already released on Patreon. Patreon.com slash NunuXD. Chapter 46. Angry Hulk you are listening at NovelFull.audio As Minecraft sales skyrocketed and people around the world were going crazy over this new game, Alex who was at home eating bacon and pepperoni noodles was surprised to receive a notification. A few days ago, to understand how far Minecraft players were willing to go, Alex set out some secret achievements. Every time an achievement was completed for the first time, Alex received a notification with the person's name and information on how they completed the achievement. Even though Alex spent some gaming points to complete this, he felt it was important, after all, knowing your audience is the biggest foundation for a service provider. Among these achievements were, kill 10,000 players in Hunger Games, or, place 100,000 blocks in survival mode, and hundreds of different achievements. Among these achievements, Alex has already managed to identify who were the players with the best building skills, best battle skills, players most dedicated to planting and harvesting food, even players who most enjoyed fishing. For fun, Alex had made a nearly impossible conquest. Destroy a bedrock. In Alex's previous world, it was common knowledge that bedrock was indestructible, even if the player turned on an autoclicker to attack alone and left with a netherite pickaxe hitting the bedrock for one year the stone would never be broken. But in the Minecraft he created, Alex decided to make an Easter egg. 
If a player were to hit a bedrock for six hours with their hands, the bedrock would break. Of course, to make it even more difficult, unlike other blocks where when the player hits and the block changes appearance to a more destroyed one, bedrock would always keep the appearance for six hours, until after six hours and one second it would be broken. If it was a normal person, after hitting bedrock for five minutes and seeing that the stone's appearance hadn't changed, the person would just give up and think that this was impossible. But oddly enough, Alex received a notification on his computer that someone got the achievement, destroy a bedrock. That, how is that possible? Alex was shocked as he looked at the game logs and saw that one player had actually been hitting a bedrock with his hands without any tools for six hours straight. And the most impressive thing is that this player only had eight hours of gameplay in total, that is, this player only stayed in Minecraft for two hours and spent the other 75% of his total game time breaking a bedrock. Curious, Alex went to see this player's other achievements and he didn't even have a craft achievement or a crafting table, that is, this player spent two hours breaking things and another six hours breaking a bedrock, who is the lunatic that would do something like that. Alex quickly turned this player's single player game into a private server and joined. Of course, Alex entered invisible and didn't let any messages appear in chat notifying him that he'd joined the match. Looking at the game data, Alex quickly found this player's location and teleported to him. The player was on the lowest tier in the world, and from what Alex saw, the player came here just by breaking the block below him, but the most surprising thing about this is that the player didn't have a pickaxe, so he did it all with just the hand. Curious, Alex looked at the player and saw that he was throwing punches with both hands in both directions while yelling. Anger Hulk, Hulk was a long time breaking black stone and under the black stone was another black stone. The player with Steve's skin was screaming to himself while punching his hands in all directions. Initially Alex found this player's reaction funny, but upon hearing what this player was saying Alex stopped laughing and was shocked. Did that player just say Hulk? Alex thought trying to understand. With a mental command, Alex tried to find out what this player looked like in real life, but he couldn't find any bodies. With another idea, Alex searched the records for a player named Bruce Banner. A total of seven players with that name were found, after looking through the IP of these players, Alex saw that there was a player with that name who was playing from Brazil, and coincidentally or not, it was the same IP as that player who was yelling Hulk. He really is the Hulk. They were finally convinced of the truth and were shocked. With an amusing thought, Alex decided to change the Hulk's skin on his own. In a snap of his fingers, the Hulk who previously had Steve's standard appearance, changed into a muscular green dot skinned man, shirtless and wearing purple shorts. Hulk was so angry that he didn't even notice his hands had changed color and kept breaking things. With an unusual idea, Alex decided to do something fun with Hulk. Using mental commands, Alex changed a parameter for the Hulk, according to how many blocks he breaks, his punches are as powerful as the game's tools. By breaking 1000 blocks with his hand, he will be able to break blocks as if his hands were wooden tools. By breaking 10,000 blocks with his hand, he will be able to break blocks as if his hands were stone tools. By breaking 100,000 blocks with his hand, he will be able to break blocks as if his hands were iron tools. By breaking 1 million blocks with his hand, he will be able to break blocks as if his hands were diamond tools. By breaking 10 million blocks with his hand, he will be able to break blocks as if his hands were tools of netherite. As much as this would take millions of blocks to complete, it would probably make the game more fun for the Hulk, and as this would only work in single player mode, it wouldn't affect other players, just practically serving as a mod for the Hulk. Maybe you can have fun in tomorrow's invasion. Alex said mentally as he looked at the Hulk breaking blocks while remembering the mutant zombie. The battle between the two would be fun to watch. It's the beginning of the month, the best time to sign Patreon. Chapter 53 is already released on Patreon. Patreon.com slash NunuXD Chapter 47 Hero Brian Believers You are listening at NovelFull.audio The news about the Golden Apple made Minecraft have another sales boom, 
now people weren't joining the game just for fun, there were millions of people joining the game with the aim of learning about the game as quickly as possible to be the most useful as possible in war. Alex was looking at the stats quite satisfied after waking up. Minecraft, 4 million games sold, $80 million, average time played. 6 hours. Peak concurrent players. 2,811,110, total earned on sold servers, $320,143, total earned in VIPs, $9,510, 275, less than 24 hours after the event started, Minecraft went from a game with 200,000 players to a game with 4 million players. Alex knew that the amount of people who knew about Minecraft was much higher, mainly from the fact that he opened Twitch and saw that there were millions of viewers watching Minecraft, but after all, Minecraft was very mysterious. A game that used people's minds to control the characters was something that a large part of the population was still afraid of, it's not like everyone will see a news in one day and on the same day already by the game to start playing, even more so after seeing government warnings about the danger of Minecraft. Instead of acting like lab rats for this game that came out so recently, people preferred to stop and wait to see what would actually happen. As tempting as the golden apple was, their lives even more tempting. Not to mention that Minecraft stated that strength and lucky potions will still be sold as prizes to the best players, so people still felt they had a chance to get valuable things in the future. Of course, Alex was already expecting this, in fact, Alex was more pessimistic than optimistic about it. In Alex's mind, Minecraft would need at least 4.5 days after the event to reach 10 million players, but after looking at the current data, Alex has already realized that probably even today Minecraft would reach 10 million players. Acting like Herobrine is very tiring, I think I can finish this attack today and start preparing the new game starting tomorrow. Alex said to himself as he ate an English breakfast before entering Minecraft. Inside Minecraft, players in Hypixel were already getting ready for Herobrine's next attack. Fortunately the city of Hypixel was very big, to the point that even with almost 3 million people connected the city was still quite spacious and no one was squeezed. Of course, to fit in the 3 million people people had to spawn far away from each other, and if friends wanted to meet up, they would have to send each other's location through the friends list and use jump points to jump from one place to another faster. During the time between yesterday's attack and now, the player's command center has been greatly expanded. As much as players with Ender Dragon capes wanted to monopolize decision-making power, they knew it would be impossible to do so with an army of 3 million people. So several divisions were made. Some people were responsible for logistics, others were responsible for guiding novice players, others were responsible for the battle itself, others led reconnaissance to know where the monsters would spawn, others handled communication, among many other functions. Of course, there were many people who were dissatisfied with being just soldiers and wanted to be one of the commanders as well to be more participatory and have a greater chance of receiving the golden apple, but that was impossible, since if that were the case the army would have more commanders than what soldiers. Because they couldn't command, thousands of people decided to ignore these players and create their own army, where they convinced soldiers from the main army to come out and join them, with many promises about a better chance of winning the golden apple. So the main army was separated into smaller armies. But even with these small armies emerging, the vast majority of novice players joined the main army, as it was the largest army and the one with the greatest chance of getting the golden apple, in addition to being the army with the most people to teach new players what to do Alex had no intention of intervening in this. In the same way that he loved watching videos of players playing on anarchic servers like 2B2T in his previous life, Alex felt like he was seeing anarchy among these players. Alex even thought that if Herobrine accepted players for his faction, probably half of those players would follow Herobrine, turning this into a big faction versus faction battle. To Noel Duren, but for now that's not what Alex wanted to do with Minecraft. Alex wanted to make Minecraft more of a relaxing game than a game of wars and battles. To make players battle Alex intended to introduce other games specializing in this. 
Alex's mind was full of role-playing game ideas that he could make to make this player's desire to war more and more frantic, too bad he only had enough gaming points to make a single game. In the future I will have a lot of gaming points, so I can put my ideas into practice much faster. Alex thought as he flew invisible and watched these players. In the end, as Alex flew around invisible, he found something that shocked him. A group of four players was praying around a pentagram drawn on the ground with dropped items. Dot. Alex was confused. But when he got close he almost died laughing. Mr. Herobrine, we are your most faithful believers, please give us a chance to demonstrate our loyalty, we are willing to give our lives to you. Mr. Herobrine, we are your most faithful believers, please give us a chance to demonstrate our loyalty, we are willing to give our lives to you. Mr. Hero Brian. Mr. Hero Brian. Seeing this, Alex flashed a playful smile and switched from Notch's account to Herobrine's account. Let's make this more fun. Alex thought. It's the beginning of the month, the best time to sign Patreon. Chapter 54 is already released on Patreon. HTTPS forward slash forward slash www.patreon.com slash nunuxed. Chapter 48 Hulk in the Hypixel You are listening at NovelFull.audio The four players were wearing skins with black clothes as if they were believers in some evil cult, the pentagram on the floor made with red items made everything even weirder, but Alex felt it would be fun to play with these people. Using the Hero Brian character, Alex stood in the center of the pentagram making the items disappear. Seeing the pentagram disappear, players were frustrated. George, this won't work, we've been trying to get in touch with Hero Brian for several hours and he's never responded. Items are missing seven times already. One player said. Let's have faith, you know that if we follow Notch like the other players will never have a chance to receive a golden apple, the only chance will be following Hero Brian. The player nicknamed, Jungle George, responded with a sigh. We only have enough items for one more pentagram, if that doesn't work I'm giving up. Another player said frustrated. Alex was invisible in the center of the place where the players made the pentagram as he watched their discussion. When the players started throwing the items on the ground to make another pentagram, they noticed that the items were being attracted to something in the center of the pentagram. Confused, these players started throwing other items, but only the red items were being absorbed. What's up? Did we bug the game? Suddenly, a pair of glowing eyes appeared floating between the four players. Upon seeing those glowing eyes without any bodies, these players' hearts began to tremble uncontrollably. They just wanted to pray to Hero Brian as some means of being able to join the other faction, just like in other games they've played, but seeing those glowing eyes staring at them made these players regret it. Unlike other games where they saw everything happening through a screen, in this game they were seeing everything in person. When remembering the chaos and destruction that Hero Brian caused yesterday during the battle, and remembering that they saw in the newspaper that Minecraft seemed to make players connect through the soul, something immediately popped into the minds of these players. He's going to take my soul. To make the situation worse for these players, a song came up in the background. Have you seen the Hero Brian, Roam the World with the Default Skin? This song sung by a female voice as if it was made in a church made these players desperate. Without a second thought, the four players used the mental command and logged out of Minecraft. Alex saw the four players disconnecting and had to resist the urge to disable the option to leave the game. But he knew that doing so could cause a lot of bad press for Minecraft and potentially lose a lot of players in the long run. Ha 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 ha. Seeing the four players disappearing from the game, Alex couldn't help himself and started laughing out loud that he did nothing but put his eyes to light and play the Hero Brian theme song, but that was enough to terrify those players. Making a horror game would also be fun. Alex thought excitedly as he turned invisible and returned to the Hypixel sky. The final battle would take place today, and Alex could finally start developing another game. Minecraft was already growing very fast, he knew that just in time Minecraft would already become one of the biggest games in the world, the extra attention he was going to give Minecraft would now be unnecessary. 
Alex might just release some updates and some events in the future and the game would continue to grow exponentially. Players from various armies were gathered in Hypixel, the time for the final battle was approaching. Veteran players were excited, while rookie players were scared. It was normal for people in a modern society to have to fight a war on such a massive scale was unimaginable. Only people who went through the army could handle this more calmly for the first time. But even though several armies emerged, players with the Ender Dragon cape were still gathered in the main army, no one knew who would make the biggest contribution to the war, but everyone was being very helpful for it to be them. With each person dedicating 120% to get the golden apple, numerous useful ideas were adopted to increase the strength of the players, monsters today would definitely be more powerful, especially those Ender Dragons that were flying above the city, would probably attack today too, so players have already developed techniques for every monster they've ever seen, including the mutant zombie and mutant creeper. In an isolated place, a player different from the others also appeared. This player was green dot skinned and apparently of a very young mental age. The first thing this player did when he arrived at Hypixel was try to break city blocks, but unfortunately many blocks were indestructible which started to make this player angry. But this player's anger at the blocks was quickly overshadowed when he saw other players. Unlike him who had the green skin, these players had skins that fluctuated between white, beige, brown, black, something that this green player had seen before, but suddenly, he saw a player with blue skin. Then a player with red skin also appeared, and soon the green player saw many people with different skins just like him, which left the green player confused. The green player naturally is Hulk, who was summoned from single player mode by Alex to the Hypixel. Hulk initially thought that when other people saw them they would get angry or scared and try to kill him, as they always did when he took control of Bruce, but incredibly, people just looked at him and then ignored him, as if he were a normal person here. Suddenly Hulk heard something. Hey Hulk, are you part of an army yet? Hulk heard his name and was even more confused looking at the man wearing a black cape in front of him. Hulk couldn't read, so he didn't understand that it was written, P. Parker, on top of the other player, and he didn't even know how the other player knew his name was Hulk too, but seeing that this person was talking to him in a normal way, Hulk tried to respond in a normal way too. Hulk doesn't know what an army is. He replied while scratching his head. P. Parker, saw that the player with the nickname, Hulk, maybe has some mental illness and felt a responsibility to help him, so very patiently, P. Parker, treated, Hulk, like a child and explained everything about Hypixel and what was going on. Happening. This is a friendship that no one could ever have imagined would happen, but perhaps because of Peter's kind heart and Hulk's naivete, it could be a friendship that has quite an effect on the way the universe goes. Chapter 49 Hulk vs. Mutant Zombie You are listening at NovelFull.audio The scale of the war was bigger than Alex imagined. In the first hours of the war, he only used regular monsters, as there were a lot of novice players. But as time went by, more and more monsters were appearing and the armor of these monsters was getting more and more powerful. Millions of players died to the monsters, as they had never participated in a battle like this, but as time went by, players got used to it and their ease of killing the monsters got better. Seeing that the players were already getting iron tools and armor, Alex decided to use the mutant mobs. Initially he only used skeletons and mutant zombies. Upon seeing the mutant zombie, a player with the green skin and the nick, Hulk, got very excited and went to try to fight that monster, but with a single punch he died. After a while that player came back again and managed to dodge the zombie's punch, but died again. So players began to observe the tenacity of this player Hulk against the mutant zombie. Some players even noticed the similarity between the Hulk skin and the mutant zombie's appearance. Alex who was controlling everything opened up to Twitch to see how the war audience was doing and was shocked. Ned the King 3,543,132 viewers. P. Parker. 3,213,765 viewers. Crawler. 2,965,521 viewers. 
Minecraft total. 21,655,321 viewers. Seeing this Alex was shocked, in the old days Minecraft didn't even have even more than 500,000 viewers, but now during the war the total has risen to more than 21 million. And looking for Minecraft on Google, Alex even saw that there were several smaller television channels that were even broadcasting the war with live commentators. I have to show respect, do you see that player next to Ned the King with the long blonde hair? That man with Nick from, History is Power, is the Dean of the History course at Cambridge University, the number one university in teaching history and philosophy of the world. The tactics that the Dean is using to deal with the zombies are famous tactics that mankind has used in the thousands of battles we have had in the past. These young men next to the Dean are all shocked by these tactics, but for students of history, this is something extremely common. Who knew that nowadays we could see a recreation of so many famous tactics from our history? This was a cultural television channel, Alex would never have imagined that Minecraft would be broadcast on that channel where the focus is to transmit culture and knowledge to the spectators. While Ned's live stream was focused on controlling the troops, Peter Parker's live stream was focused on the battle against the mutant zombie, or rather, focusing on the battle between Hulk and the mutant zombie. Viewers at first were mocking the player named Hulk, but as time went on they realized that Hulk was getting better and better in battle and becoming more and more proficient in dealing with zombie mutant. Gradually the spectators who had been mocking Hulk, were now rooting for him, for him to show others that he could handle the mutant zombie on his own. Even some players were watching the live streams on small floating screens as they played, something Alex had recently added. Among those players was a player with Nick from, Dr. Banner. This player initially wanted to fight on the front lines to see what it was like, but after seeing that he didn't have enough motor coordination to fight long enough without dying, Dr. Banner, decided to work with the logistics for the war, his boss at factory in Brazil had given all the employees time off because of this war and the employees gladly accepted. Since, Dr. Banner, was in the logistics, he had more free time than the front. Line players, so he could put some live stream on to watch while he played. Before he was watching Ned the King's live stream, but after getting tired of the boring strategies, he went to watch Parker's live stream. But what shocked him was that on Parker's live stream there was a player desperately struggling. Viewers sent messages in the chat madly motivating that player, treating him like a real warrior. But, Dr. Banner, felt that player was very familiar. The green skin, no shirt, no armor, no weapons, just fighting with fists while screaming, was very familiar to, Dr. Banner, but as the player was too far away from, P. Parker, he couldn't read his name right. But seeing the messages in the chat, Dr. Banner, froze. Hulk, you can do it. Hulk is representing me. I wish I could fight the Hulk. Lots of supportive comments were normal, but the name people were praising that made, Dr. Banner, go stunned. Hulk, the player's name is Hulk. Bruce yelled not knowing what to say. In his mind a number of things went through at the same time, most notably the anger problem he had before playing Minecraft, which suddenly disappeared after he played the first time. Initially Bruce thought it was just a coincidence, but after a while he felt like the Hulk had disappeared. Now, seeing Hulk fighting a mutant zombie that looked like him, Bruce Banner felt like he finally got it all. So you mean Hulk has been playing Minecraft since that time? And people still like him? Bruce Banner was still shocked. In the real world everyone treated Hulk like a monster, very scared of him, but in Minecraft Hulk was being treated like a hero. With many doubts, Bruce Banner decided to try something. Opening the friends list, Bruce wrote a name in the search tab. Hulk, dot soon three results appeared. Hulk, Hulk 1st fan, I love Hulk, Bruce was shocked by the other two player nicknames, but he soon ignored the other two and sent a friend request to, Hulk. If that person really was Hulk, Bruce felt he should have a conversation with that player in person. But soon a message emerged. Hulk rejected your friend request. Dot. Bruce. Chapter 50. Kill Steel you are listening at novelfull.audio. 
As the hours of battle passed, many players became tired and had to stop fighting, while players who had just logged in took their place. During the battle the number of novice players playing started to grow even faster. Minecraft, 7,900,000 games sold, $158 million, Alex knew that Minecraft at this point had already gotten out of control, even though the government of every country in the world said that players' minds would be controlled when they played Minecraft, still millions of people would buy the game. Not because people weren't afraid anymore, but because at that point people's friends were already playing Minecraft, and seeing their friend having fun in this innovative game while they were just watching was something that made people very frustrated. So to not just watch friends play, people started buying Minecraft to play too, so a snowball was emerging, to the point that even Alex who had estimated Minecraft sales to be 10 million by the end of the war was still a conservative estimate. During the battle, Notch and Hero Brian appeared in the sky and fought several times. Because of the golden apple, Notch managed to recover, but Hero Brian was even stronger than him, so in most battles Notch lost. With players surviving, Hero Brian began using increasingly powerful monsters, to the point where even the wider boss was released. Players had never seen this three-dot-headed skeleton before. They had already seen that the white skeleton in the nether dropped its head, but they didn't know that you could make a monster like that with three heads. Many players even wanted to go back to single-player mode to test this out and see if they could create this monster too, but seeing that the battle was getting even more difficult now that this boss came along, players gave up on that idea and took bows to shoot this monster. The wider boss was throwing exploding heads at players, which initially killed a lot of people, but as time went on, players who were always very adaptable were able to deal with it and kill the wider boss. Unfortunately, when White died, Hero Brian was furious and released the two Ender Dragons that were flying over the city. Seeing the two dragons descending from the high heavens to attack them, players became desperate, especially those players who have never fought the Ender Dragon. Seeing those dragons flying in the city and destroying all the blocks they passed, the players became more and more desperate. The players' command line started to get chaotic and everything was falling apart. Until players with the Ender Dragon cape who were once commanding the army joined the battle. Both Team 01, which is the X.Men team, Ned and Petter, as well as Shuri and the Milage ran towards the dragons and started attacking the monsters while leading the players to the front lines. On the other hand, two players were on the roof of a tall building in Hypixel. Natalia, and, Hawk. Or better known as Natasha Romanoff and Clint Barton, two shield agents. On direct orders from Nick Fury, the two were ordered to get this golden apple at all costs, so despite working with the players, Clint and Natasha had prepared a plan to deal with the dragons. They knew they couldn't handle the weaker monsters with just the two of them, so they decided that they would try to take the last shot to kill the two dragons. While Natasha would protect Clint, he would be focused on shooting arrows at the dragons to get the kill. This was a strategy they saw on the internet. As this was their first time doing any mission related to games, the two decided to search the internet for strategies from other games and see which would be the most viable for them to use. On the internet it always said that the person who gave the last attack on the boss could receive much more reward than the other players. And since Hero Brian was like a god in this world, Clint and Natasha disregarded him as a boss and focused their attention on the dragons that had been flying over Hypixel since yesterday. The life of the first dragon is dropping. Clint said as he pulled the arrow from his bow. Natasha, on the other hand, was battling the fireballs the ghasts were attacking them with a sword. As they were the players who were at the highest place in the Hypixel, the attention of the ghasts who were monsters that flew at high altitudes was completely focused on them. Natasha didn't answer Clint and continued attacking the fireballs with her sword, very focused. If she missed the timing of the fireball counterattack, it would explode and send the two of them flying downward. Even if they didn't die from the explosion, they would likely die from the fall damage since they didn't have a bucket of water to do MLG. But Clint didn't need an answer from Natasha, the two already knew each other so well that he knew her silence was confirmation of the trust she had in him. Since archery in Minecraft was even easier than in real life, 
Clint calculated the amount of arrows in the air and the damage those arrows would do to the Ender Dragon and finally fired. Swoosh the Ender Dragon's health was dropping fast because of the amount of arrows from the players, but as a hero brine monster, the Ender Dragon's health was several times higher than the life of an ordinary Ender Dragon. But still, because of the constant rain of arrows all the time, the monster finally died. Players were excited about this and focused their attack on the remaining dragon. Millions of players had already died to these dragons, but no one gave up, everyone wanted the golden apple. After a few minutes of attacking, the dragon's health was finally at a critical level. Clint once again shot an arrow after much calculation and watched as his arrow killed the second dragon. After killing the dragons, players with bows pointed their arrows at Herobrine and started shooting. Herobrine saw that his most powerful monsters had died and he screamed in anger. Filthy bugs, don't think you've won this battle, because it's not over. Herobrine screamed before running away and disappearing in front of everyone. Players were shocked by this. We won. They started to wonder. Until Notch flew downtown and screamed. We won, dot.